Okay, so, uh, long story short, um, basically, I have corona, so, uh, I can't do as much recording. Anyway, today we're just going to be doing Cubecraft <laughs> mini games. Uh, anyway, hello. <coughs> oh, man. It's kind of annoying, though, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just recording videos when I have a chance. Well, that's what I want to do. So, I've already played these, but I kind of, I just kind of want to see what everyone else thinks of them, so. Bridges. I, I love Bridges, honestly. Like, you've probably already seen me play it in other games. But now it's on Cubecraft, so whenever that crashes, because in other games has a major problem with crashing and just kind of placing in the void. So, we got this. And then, yeah, we're going to do duels as well. So yeah, this is, will be interesting. The problem though is bow spammers though. Like people who only use their bow. Like th those kind of people are everywhere. And it's so annoying. Okay, so we're 1-1. One, one. I swear. No, I got, I got to take it. All right. Um. No, screw off. Gosh, take it. Alright, um. Let me just ruin this for everyone. Okay. At least I'm not bow spamming. Like every trash PvP here on the planet. Yeah, this is very interesting though. Like, like, cause we both have good teams mainly. Like, like, thing is they're camping, but but they're like they're playing it defensive. We're playing offensive. Come on, die, Stampy. There you go. Come on, come on, fight. Come on, wrecked. Okay, let's fr let's freaking go. All right. Okay, what was the point of that? You could have just dug through. Stampy cat. Why? What is with teams and like? I hate it. It makes it impossible when people own all they do is bow spam. That's that's the annoying thing. See, look, literally, there's nobody. There's like nobody on the bridge, and they're bow spamming. Like actually, no, I'm okay. Come on, die, trash. The, like the, the, these little pocket edition kids on their freaking iPads or whatever, thinking they're so cool because they can bow spam. Because that's like the only way you could really do anything. On pocket edition, to be honest, is if you just bow spam. Hello. No, die. I don't like you. Nobody likes you. You don't have friends. I, I mean, what? I, I would never say that to anyone. No. No, no. You are not getting anywhere. Sorry, Steve. Let me up. Move. Thank you.
You're saying sometimes sometimes it is better to just leave them alone because then you have like a bigger space. Like to get in without there being like a billion people in. So sometimes it is better. Okay, I can see that. Die. Okay. Like, I only really like shooting people in our bridge, but I don't go, man, bam, man. Die, Stampy. There you go. Rip. Yeah, like, at, le at least I'm not too scared to freaking PvP him. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Oh, yeah, we won. I was the top player, probably, because I killed the most people. Alright, we're, we're gonna play one or two more rounds. Alright. Let's go. Wait, am I even recording? Okay, good. Nope, let me in. Thank you. What? How? I literally went into there and they still killed me. Okay, whatever. Die. Okay. We are even at the moment. Get more arrows. Just so, because, the thing is, I want to try to get all the arrows that we can. Because then that way, they can't just bow spam the whole time because they'll run out of arrows. So that, that's that's why that's a smart move, is to always get the arrow ones even if you don't need them. Because there's always like a trillion bow spammers. No, Stampy, you're not going. I mean, no, not Stampy. Sorry, but you're not going anywhere, whoever you are. Hmm, I kind of just screwed up. Okay, come on. Alright, come on. I can PvP. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see, look, that's why. It's because bow, bow spammers get the bow. See, look, like, literally the entire time, they'll just stand, like, at, at where they spawn and just bow spam. See, look, like, they need to add a cooldown. That's the annoying thing. Okay, just to stop them, because I don't want to give them any plans. Though. Like, I'm not, I'm not, there's a difference between bow spamming and just getting them every now and then. See, look, literally all they, all they're doing is bow spamming. If you don't be like I, I like I like going in. Like I don't I don't like using the bow as much. Cause you know it it's a lot better to just use this, and also you you don't look like a coward. Cause usually the trash PVPers are the ones who only use their bow. Come on. Oh, you're screwed. Come on. Get wrecked, bro. Die. Jeez, are you just not going to attack? I, I can't imagine being that bad. Oh, that's cool, actually. 
Yes, but we don't want to let them get there. So look, it's the same freaking people. All they're doing is bow spam. Like they get better armor and everything, and then all they do is bow spam. If you notice, bow spammers never win, but they make it hard for us to win. It's not gonna go anywhere if all they're doing is bow spamming. This says someone who's literally bowing. All right, I'm just getting them because they're right there and they're close. See, look. Literally, all they're doing is bow spamming. Just saying, we're gonna win. Die, die. I don't want you. No, nobody likes you. You can die. Yes, all right. Now we're going to be doing the duels. Which I have played. They're pretty fun. And it's like, it's probably one of the best ways to really test out your PvP skills. Which is why I like doing it, so yeah. Oh, bow mode. I hate bow mode, honestly. Like, I'm okay at it. Problem is, both spamming doesn't do much. Unlike sword spamming, because, like, this is 1.8 PvP, basically. thing is like basically b bow is like you can basically do no matter what platform you're on which is pretty good yeah they've clearly already eaten their golden apple okay no I'm not playing this game you realize if you're hitting me like you're giving a clear a clear open window for me to hit you There you go. Get the apple. I'm saving my golden apple because I don't think I need it. So, I mean, he's not that great either, so. Bro, you should think twice before just going up and hitting me. Bro, like, as you can see. So, look, all he's doing is this. Alright. Get off. Right now. I'm going for the apple. This is all he's gonna do. In fact, I'm gonna get him away. I'm getting him over here just so he can't really just hide. See, look, I, I don't want him getting behind the trees, because this is all he's doing. Because he's not good. <laughs> Come on, bro. Just fight me. See, look, <laughs> like, this is all he's doing.
There we go. No, I'm not. I'm not rematching him. I'm sorry, but no. I'd rather fight someone who's actually who's not just gonna run the whole time. Yes! Alright. I actually have a good strategy for this. Okay, so basically, like, you go up. Alright, so, like, because <clears throat> then if they build up, what you can do is you can knock them out. Like, it's something to take the fall damage. Alright, as you can see, I got rid of his water. As you can see, he doesn't have lava or water. But look, since I'm knocking him off, like, he can't really do much about it. And look, I, I've cornered him. He's gotten out. But look. Bro, what are you... Why are we hitting each other's blocks? Okay. Hitting me with a... Hitting each other's blocks isn't going to do much, but at least we are both equal right there. I know exactly what he's going to do. What he's going to do is he's just going to bow me off. Yep. Which is why. As you can see, he's cornered again. But now he has basically no chance of escaping. There we go. See, that's how you PvP. Play another one. We can finally. Uh, I don't. I'm not doing Archer. I'm sorry, but no. Op Skywars. Gosh dang it. Okay. Let's go. Okay, geniuses zero. I think I do hate those when hackers play and they do like 10 damage. As you can see, he had to use his gapple already, which means that he's not like it. All right, see look. <laughs> Look how quickly I got him out there. Is, you know, you, you kind of do need to put pressure on. That's the thing. You need to put the pressure on or else you can't really do much. Because then they can't do anything really. If, if you're putting pressure on, then they can't do much. Which is why it's always nice to use, to put, to use the pressure. Which is, which is why that crit, which is why knocking him off and then doing a critical hit works so well, is because and then and then I was just comboing up to the edge, which is pressuring them. They can't do much, it's making it hard for them, which is why. All right. They already have to eat.
If he if he's like, fight me like a man, I'm just, <laughs> I will literally just go there, fight him, and destroy him. Is he finally good to get up? Oh, I, oh, I think you know, I think I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna try to critical hit me like he's gonna bridge. Okay, I'm just going for it. So look, as you can see, pressure always works. So look, he has to gapple, because, you know, the pressure. Circling as well. Going for the crits. And the combos. Works. You, like, always wait until they use their gapple first. Because then they can't regen with you. Especially, especially when it's enchanted golden apples. Because if they're regening, like, after you, then, then yeah, you're in trouble. So, look, I've already broken his stuff. As you can see, so I'm going to be doing more damage. As you can see, like... He's not doing very well. Oh, that actually worked out in my favor. <laughs> Him building actually worked out in my favor. This allowed me to get that critical hit. So, immediately going for the pressure. Like, d don't only do critical hits. Like, just kind of do whatever you feel like is working. That's mainly what... That's mainly, that's the biggest advice for PvP. So, because you can see, pressure. Like, it'll work against anyone. If you use pressure. If you, like, if you pressure them, then yeah. It, it, it'll work against basically anyone. Like, we're just forcing them to run because, you know, they're pressured, so they can't do much. Like, it's hard because they can't combo me back, really. Because it's getting the whole flurry of hits. Combo shotting, basically. Or butterfly clicking. Like, it stops them from doing anything. As, as you can see, he tried to tower up for me. Just so he can hit me off multiple times. Because why else would he be doing that? Look, so look, like when he stops and eats, it gives you the perfect opportunity to get some free hits. And also, you can see that he's building a lot as well, like placing blocks down, which all which is pretty good strategy. Like if you have good block placement skills for PvP, then yeah, that 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 will work great. Yeah, like see, look, hit. Me eating gave him like a lot of room to fight back. As you can see, the pressure also broke his helmet because I'm getting so many hits on him, especially when you're in bedrock or 1.8. Then, yeah, then that will work in your favor. Okay, this will probably be my last round. No. Are you serious, dude? What? What is he? Nope. You you going ahead and building a back back up was a mistake. 
Like, you jumping off was a big mistake. I'm just saying, don't ever make that mistake. Like, if you're, if you're just trying to camp like that, don't ever make that mistake. Because if you jump off, then yeah, it gives them a perfect opportunity to just keep hitting you off when you try to jump to get up again. Say, so yeah, I'd never do that. No, no. As you can see, circling around usually works like against most people. Cause like, especially if they're on like Xbox or something, then like they can't turn around quick enough to hit you, which is what makes it so easy. See, look like. He's pressured, so he need so he needed to use his gapple. Like that was a, that's a smart time to use his gapple, as you can tell. I'm just saying, like I'm flinging him back and forth, as you can see, and hitting him towards blocks is even nicer because it breaks his momentum from sprinting. And see, look, like just like that, you know, you can see how it, it it's a mistake when you're low, especially, and you just stop to eat. And yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.